As a matter of fact, our opening act is right between takes at a record session, and he volunteered to come over here and be on our show with his little brother. And once you see his little brother, Shorty, that's going to be pretty funny because Shorty is taller than he is. Would you welcome tonight's opening act, Glenn Campbell and Shorty Campbell. <laughs> Now, I gotta tell you that, this, I just wanna do this on nationwide television for one time. This is living proof that my folks had children that sing. My brother Shorty. Don't look so sad. I know it's so good. But life goes on. And this whole world will keep on turning. Let's just be glad we had some time to spend together. There's no need to watch the bridges that we're burning. I went out to Arkansas several years ago, and I did an all-Arkansas show, and I was the only Razorback, non-Razorback on it. And Shorty <laughs> remembered that show. Right. Uh, I was wondering what this thing was. <laughs> the Wilburn Brothers were on it. Glenn was on it. I don't know, Conway Twitty. A bunch of people, all acts from Arkansas. It was an Arkansas homecoming. I, think, I don't know if Cash was on that one or not. He might have been. A lot, of, a lot of talent comes out of the South for some reason. You, you know, you used to say D-Light, and then one time I heard you say Billstown. Well, Billstown wasn't on the map, so the closest place was D-Light, so I just said D-Light. Uh, Billstown's about six miles out on a 
It's a suburb. It's on a dirt road. <laughs> they paved it now, though. Oh, have they? Yeah. They're getting a phone line next week? Uh, yeah. <laughs> they got a party line in now. Have they yeah. really? It's a party line. You how, many, how big is your family, brothers and sisters, I mean? Uh, there was 12 kids, eight boys, four girls. Really? That yeah. many? Dad said to come cheaper, brother doesn't. <laughs> Yeah. And all us kids kept mom on a pedestal. That was to keep dad away from her. <laughs> <laughs> so where where are you in the uh, chronological order, Glenn? Well, it's uh, uh, I'm the seventh son the, of the eight boys. Well, that's right. Aren't you the seventh son of a seventh son? We talked about no, that. I'm the seventh son, right? D no, dad was like I think dad was the second son, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, I always I had always heard you were the seventh son of a seventh son. No, I'm a seventh son, and that's which makes you. Which makes, I suppose, I'm mystical things happen to you. I'm very lucky. I mean, <laughs> I ain't smart enough to be here sitting here talking to Ralph Emery. I mean, something else had to happen along the way <laughs> well, you're not that instigated that. Yeah, are you right in the middle of a record session? Yes, we are. We're, we're cutting down at uh, the music mill with uh, Harold Shedd, and it's a fabulous studio. And this is the first time I've recorded in Nashville. I mean, ever. I mean, I, I was here recording with Bill Justice uh, say 20 years ago when I was doing studio work and we cut a song called White uh, Blue Christmas here with Bill and this is the first time in 20 years that I've recorded in Nashville and it's <laughs> and Shorty can tell you we're just we're having a it's just incredible it's just coming out so good when, when will this session come out uh, I think about uh, February the 15th now how many times have you and Shorty performed together you answer that one Shorty <laughs> ever since with little bitty kids you know off and on <laughs> how is your daddy he's He's fine. He's a lot better. But in fact, we're going to, uh, tomorrow. We're flying to D-Light. And... Well, you can't fly into D-Light. You've got to be going to D-Light to get there, because it ain't on the way to no place. <laughs> <laughs> we fly into Little Rock and then uh, drive down about 100 miles. I see. All right, we'll take a little break right here. We'll be right back in a moment to continue Nashville. Now. <laughs> well, we have a lot of viewers in the state of Pennsylvania. And you told me one time, in Pennsylvania, there is a Gl another Glenn Campbell. Yeah, there is. It was called, a guy by the name of Charles Campbell founded Glenn Campbell, Pennsylvania. I think it was uh, 1889. Uh, and uh, Glenn in Gaelic means valley, like Valley of the Campbells is, say, where I come from. So you can just call me Valley from now on, friends. <laughs> No, but it, they called it Glen Campbell, Pennsylvania. And I, I got mail from it, and I thought somebody had a fake, uh, you know, like a postmark set up on it. But I actually went there, and it was kind of strange, you know, to see the, the Glen Campbell First Baptist Church, Glen Campbell Catholic Church, the Bank of Glen Campbell. And my business manager got me a $10 bill that has come from, you know, paid to the Bank of Glen Campbell, Pennsylvania. And it, so all the people up there in Pennsylvania, I love you. Have you ever sung there? No. <laughs> I did. I went back for a visit. Did they have a Glen Campbell High School? Yeah. I guess they do. They had the fire department, Glen Campbell Police Department. I said, I want them, as <laughs> Melvin would say. You've been hanging around Mel too oh, much. Oh, I've been with Tillis. I found me a new hotel in Nashville, the Mel Tillis Farm. Oh. He, Melvin does. You, folks, if you ever get a chance, you've got to see Melvin's pigs. He's got 1,580 little pigs just about that high. And you talk about squealing out in uh in cheatham county north uh, northwest uh, of nashville and he grinds up his own sorghum molasses oh i know i went out in melvin i dipped uh, you know the green stuff off of it before it's cooked <laughs> well if anybody that knows anything about raising sorghum molasses it, it is and melvin sells it in his country store here oh i know and that it's great what was the green stuff you dipped off of it well that's something you don't get in the jar i see i mean it's <laughs> It's just like milk, you gotta strain it. You just don't get it right out of the cow, you know, unless you're brave. We're all just sitting here visiting. I guess Ronnie Dove and Glenn Campbell have known each other a long time. <laughs> that, uh, Glenn played on a couple of my sessions when I recorded out in California. He was talking about recording in Nashville. I had done all my recording in Nashville and I went to California and Glenn played on a couple of my songs. I sure did. I got to play guitar on, uh, it was about 19. In fact, Gentle on My Mind was out at that time. Yeah. I was still doing sure studio was. work. And oh, making probably a lot more money than he was. You know, I remember when, when Glenn Campbell first broke out and became a big star. And they were talking about all the money he was making. And he was already <laughs> rich. Oh. He was the hottest That's musician right. on the West Coast playing on sessions. Right. It was a lot of fun. It really was. And I, I want to say I enjoyed doing the sessions with you. Ron. We had a, a, a big hit were called you? Cry that he was on that did so good for us. Were, were, were uh, you on Right or Wrong, Glenn? No, he was on uh, no. Mountain of Love. Mountain of and Love. And Cry. 
Right. And a song called One More Mountain to Climb. You, uh, why did you record out there? Well, we had been recording in Nashville. We had, all of our songs had been recorded here, and we had a new producer, uh, Bill Justice. <laughs> we were talking about him a moment ago. Uh, well, Bill was living out in California. He'd been uh, uh, arranging and producing out here for me, and he moved to California to do some movies. So we went out to California to record with Bill, and Bill got Glenn on the session. See, I think it's amazing that Glenn, in all these years, and Glenn used to come here and play golf. He knows everybody. He knows all the musicians in Nashville. I think it's amazing you've never made a record here. That's well, I had made a record with Bill Justice in a, in '63. That was 20 years yeah. ago. But I did never. Nothing was ever happening with it. Uh, I was always happy. I knew all the musicians in L.A. from doing studio work. I mean, when I was doing the studio work, Leon Russell was the hot piano player. Uh, David Gates was bass player on, on a lot of the stuff when I was doing Shindig and all this stuff. But uh, in fact. Tomorrow night, I'm doing the Grand Ole Opry for the first time in my life, and I'm so You're thrilled kidding. about it. Let You're me tell kidding. you. Are you nervous? <laughs> no, I'm just back, back to the, back to the roots. <laughs> that's, that's really amazing. It is, and I, I never recorded in Nashville. I don't know what it was. It just seemed. Now it seems like it's the time to do it, you know. Well, you probably had all your people out in California in those days because it, exactly. everybody that when we did our session, you knew everyone and. Right. And you were close. close made it very easy. Yeah. yeah. Made it very well, made it convenient. I'm tired of looking at all you hairy legged boys. I'm <laughs> going to <laughs> Did look. Did I dress up too good tonight, right? Yeah, you really outdressed us. You wouldn't give me a jacket like this. So huh? I, I had to wear my I suit. had to trade for this one. Oh, did you? I, I would have traded the suit for a jacket like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll trade you something out of a three it. piece suit. Sure.